You know, something that's really interesting about swords, at least I find it really interesting, is that only relatively recently have we been able to look back on everything. I could name, like, hundreds of different kinds of swords from all over the world and over the course of thousands of years. But a medieval knight probably didn't know what a gladius or a katana or a kopesh was. Anyone with one of these things that you're holding couldn't easily learn more sword facts and history and raw knowledge than Musashi or Talhofer ever knew. I think that's pretty neat. Well, kind of. There was more integrating of culture than a lot of people would think. There was a Roman cavalry soldier who was buried with a Chinese gladius. And the famous Wolfberg Viking swords were often made by French smiths with Indian steel. I mean, there were even some indigenous Americans that ended up with katanas. But I mean, on average, your average medieval knight wouldn't really know too much about African weapons. Or whatever.